Hi, I'm Elke Valovilta, and this one is about Soldano SLO 30. a couple of bad notes. Well, they were just jazzy notes. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Soldano SLO 30. You heard it. It's great. So, the signal chain first. It's my talk, Les Paul, don't know the model, with a Sigmar Duncan custom and 59 passive pickups. Then into my pedal board, where I used good old bus SD1, into the amp, into Sandrack, Sandrack React IR, Reactive Load, where I have a combination of, or what, what IR do you actually have? Yeah, it's a combination of my signature IR, Valo Virtuals from Jens Bugren's Lead and Clean Pack, and then 30% it's uh, Jens Sound of God 2 from his Rhythm Pack, 
So that's the IR, then I'm recording the guitar to Cubase. This is uh, like the kind of, you know, SL100 was the kind of first boutique hot rodded amp. It's pretty much, at least to me, it's like Marshall Plexi and Marshall JZ I made on it, hot rodded into one single amp, plus really good clean channel, clean tone. So absolutely in my ballpark, my favorite dance. JJ Maynard, my Plexi. A little bit about the the app in general. So it's not like a modern high gain amp, what you would call. As you hear, it's quite filthy. There's a lot of mid range. Well, it's like a souped up good old Marshall, you know. It, it was modern when it came, I think it, in 87. But it, it's not, you know, modern anymore, as I guess. If you're used to modern, really tight and zzz, modern high gain amps, you might find this surprisingly old school. But I, I'm used to 800s and plexis, and you know, 5150 is, is is a bit more modern than this. Based on this, I'm gonna compare soon, so you you hear the differences. But what this has, let's take the SD off. It's a normal channel and overdrive channel. On the song, I use the two different guitar sounds. So first, when I feel myself and play the solo, I use the overdrive channel with ST1. Then I double the rhythm guitar afterwards, where I switch to normal channel, again with an ST. Now, nothing on, no pedals, except just the, the amp. It just tightens. And while we're at it, let's put the plexi on. So this amp. Then to plexi. So then now. Pretty close, but check out when I crank the master volume. You know, Plexi doesn't have a master, so it's pretty much cranked. Plexi. So then off. Let's actually take the gain a little bit back and uh, close that's a mid flexi so with a little bit more tweaking i could probably dial them really even more closer i mean different tubes these are six or sixes the pair of 606 in the power of section where well, Plexi has real 34s. And there's five as well AX7, so that's ECC83 preamp tubes. So the normal channel is like a hot rated Plexi <laughs> with 606 tubes. Great. Man, this is hot now. Okay, like that. And then there's a bright switch which I, I like only oh, that's that kind of martial type of high silver. Yeah, I had the plexi on, so they're so close. So I can we got mix up so now I'm used to the solo I know. And the bright switch back on. So it's like a hot rodded plexi, the normal channel, which is awesome. Tighter, a bit more modern, you know, well, when this came out, it was, you know, really modern compared to, you know, plexi. Okay. And, you know, your basic 
tone controls. Let's go through them with this one. So preamp gain for normal channel and for overdrive. You know, normal, it's kind of like 800, you know, you, you put it on 10, then it, it's good to go. And then the clean, clean channel, let's take the SD off. And this works really well with SD. Uh, I, I, I like Marshall. Two screamer. see why, why Steve Ray had this one. I mean, he ordered one, you know, before he died in the helicopter accident. So, and, yeah, it's, it's, it's just like, I really feel the connection. It's, it's like an old school amp, you know, a really hard to describe, absolute joy to play. Back to the crunch. Yeah. And let's check out the, the you know, tone stack. A lot of bass. There where it, you know, you can feel it, and then mix. Okay, the, the mid cue is, I feel it's really wide cue, you know, narrow cue, wide cue, because it, it really, I feel that it, it, it affects a lot. I mean, this is a passive tone stack, like on any tube, and so now it's neutral when everything's on 10. So passive EQ, like on Marshalls most times, you only cut. So now it's like the, the you know, natural. It's kind of like flexi cranked. It's a bit like on 5150, it really doesn't do nothing before 8. Check out. There, a little bit. So, you can have this a little bit smoother and darker than Marshall, but then if you crank it, you can have the, the bite of, a, of a, especially of, a, of 800. We compare that to. Die a little bit back, then it becomes a little bit smoother. And the depth, you know, that's also so presence and depth operates in the kind of power up section. So this is really 
you know, depends on the cab or the IR you're using or whatever. But how I dial it, it's just where it, you can add this low end thumb. Mm, you start to feel it. Too much and it's... There. So, I guess the controls are pretty much like they like they were, <laughs> you know, in the switch bus. And the, the master, you can really feel where the, the power tubes kind of start to... On the age of volume thing, but, but still like kind of, especially the amp starts to... So, the normal channel, great clean sound and hot rodded, plexi, and also kind of like a 800. But the overdrive channel, let's fire up the bad boy. No, nothing on. Switch the bad boy. The bad boy is it's really kind of it's the best 800, probably the best and the general I've played. So it has that. It's almost like there's two sounds. There's this woo -woo -woo and then it. No overdrives. Okay, then back to Soldano. We can add that. With the presence, I can add that high silver. Let me check a little bit down. Then with overdrive. Without. It's a little bit like 800, you know. Then, you know, to turn it up. It has a mid hunk. It has more mix, I think, this uh, overdrive channel than the normal channel. Just a little bit thicker, like on which like really thick thick sound. I mean now when I have the normal channel on SD it's actually like, really close to 800. The feel, I feel really comfortable with this. Okay back to the overdrive channel. Let me switch the plexi off. Maybe we add some With the wah, it's beautiful, it's not mid. Let's check out the 800. Let me do one.
Hey, Donnie, that's a little bit more upper mitch, you know, traditional martial thing. And that high silver. Back to boogie with SD. Even if I back the meats below noon, there's still more of that like mid 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 thing, kind of like a low mid that, which is a typical soldier thing. Really cool. Okay, then. Let's compare it to, let me turn this off, put the 5150 on. So now the overdrive channel bright switch on and yeah. in front. They're pretty close. Well, I mean, 5150 is, is kind of like a, not copy, but definitely, you know, inspired by, by Soldano, because when Eddie, Eddie Van Halen designed, or James Brown was the designer, but you know, Eddie, and he's seen it ramp. They were recording the Van Halen's for unlawful carnal knowledge. And the SLO 100 was Eddie's main amp on that. So if we compare, well, input, this is only one, this is uh, two normal gain and a high gain. I feel that this is kind of like a high gain input if, if you know, we compare. Because it, it's really, a, this with this normal gain input, you get a little bit more, more headroom. And then the rhythm channel, you know, there's a bright switch, here's bright switch, crunch, clean, crunch. It, it's really similar. I mean, the original SLO didn't have the depth knob. It was a, you know, additional mod you could order to that. So, but V250 had, 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 has that one. So, but other than that, they are, you know, same tube, 606, uh, five or six preamp tubes on the 100 watt ones really close. So these two are quite similar. I, I've said it on some of my previous videos that I feel that a 5150 is kind of like a souped up Plexi or, or 800. A little bit darker, a little bit less bright. Some people find that 800 Plexi, Plexi especially 800 thing kind of harsh. I kind of like it because I'm so used to it or kind of I like it because it cuts through the mix really well. Alone 800 is sometimes can be like, whoa. But with this one and with the fifth one, if you crank the presence, you can get that, that, that thing. And I feel the SLO compared to fifth one fifty, it's even close to Plexi or Marshall. It's, it's really like this sag. It's, to me, this is a vintage amp. Like, this is more modern. It's, it's really good. I mean, you know, is it worth the price? I think this is like almost 3k euros. I think so, yeah. Because what you get with the SLO, and the, I think the SLO 100 is like 4k. You pretty much get three amps. You get a hot rod Plexi, you get a hot rod JZM around it, and then you also get a really good clean amp. Clean channel. It's still my favorite amps in there. 800 in Plexi. 
Like, man, it's been a while since I tried a SLO 100. Well, actually, last summer, a year ago, it was just in, in music store, Musamalma in Finland, really quickly. But I would really like to try that out because I think I would love that amp. This is great, but I'm so used to playing with 100 watt or 120 watt boogie mark. 5 is 90 watt. The Plexi is 50. This I, I prefer actually more 50 watt Plexi than the hard one Plexi. I feel that this little bit, it could be bigger. And the SLO 100 is, you know, it's more powerful, bigger transformers. So, you know, Mike or any, anyone who represents you, if you're watching this, you know, if I could try the SLO 100, I probably would end up buying that if we would get a, an agreement that all parties are satisfied with. <laughs> Just a tip. This is, this is great. I'm, really, I'm pretty sure the SLO 100 is too. Okay, enough yapping. Final conclusion. If you like Plexi, if you like Marshall, but you would like them to be a little bit more modern, more gain, more low end, whatever. That's the amp. And it comes with a really good clean sound. Great work. Absolutely fantastic amp. And I'm pretty sure I would love the SLO 100 even more. Hey, thanks for watching. Until next time. Take care. Bye.